Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Boost HD here, and as promised, I was going to do a full review of the Windows CE SatNav unit. So, any further ado, let's get right into it. You're watching Boost HD with your host, Adam Lubin. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start off by simply booting up the device so you can get a rough idea of how long the actual device uh, takes to turn on. So, as you can see, as soon as I go ahead and press the button, it starts to load up immediately, and then within a few seconds, the device completely switches itself on. As I mentioned before, this is more than just a sat-nav unit, this is a complete multimedia device uh, that comes with a course in navigation, but you also get music, uh, music player, video player, photo viewer, and even an FM transmitter for your vehicle. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with the navigation option. Uh, that's right there. Okay, so once the navigation app has loaded, we've got four options here. We've got find, we've got manage, we've got route, and we've got settings. I'm going to go ahead and go to find. I'm going to go to find address, I'm going to type in a random street address, I'm going to type in uh, see if Downing Street comes up. I've got Downing Court, so I'm going to go ahead and use that. And then I'm just going to type in a random number. So you got, so I'll type in number 14. And then I'm going to go ahead and go to done. Yep, go to done. And then I'm going to go ahead and select set destination. And then this will actually set the destination and ready to set the route once you're in your vehicle. So of course there are a few settings that you can actually change here. You can switch it from 2D uh, back to 3D. You can also up to D2 if you want to select, select a different route, uh, one that you may know may, may be quicker. You've got your position. And if I'm there from your position option, you can go ahead and select a point of interest, such as a petrol station, a restaurant, or an airport. You can also add your destination to your favorite. So if you're going to be using this more than once, you'd have to keep retyping in the address over and over again. And if you go back to the, well, if you turn, if you uh, bear attention to the left, you've also got your time, of course. Uh, once in your vehicle, it'll tell you how fast you're going, or it'll tell you the speed limit on the road. Uh, if you go down here, you can switch between uh, night or day mode. Currently, it was in night mode, so I'm going to go ahead and switch it back to day mode. As you can see, it changes round. So I'm going to go back again to uh, I'm going to go back to these settings again. You've also got the volume option here, which uh, which will either mute it or allow the volume to come back on. And of course, you've got the volume slider at the top here. You've also got a here an option here, so you can actually change your vehicle depending on uh, what you have. So if you've got a car, if you've got a bicycle, for example, you can select the set nav to accommodate the route for that your type of vehicle. So if we head back to the menu now. You've got uh, manage, and this allows you just to make any history or track your logs. And again, you've got points of interest down here if you want to access it from there. You've got your overall settings. There's a variety of settings here, such as your GPS settings. You've also got your device settings and, the, and any upcoming warnings. You've also got your main settings. And, yeah. and then from there, you've got your route. You've got your route information. As you can go ahead and select that, as you can see, this comes up with a bit of information to tell you how long you've got left, uh, vice versa. It will tell you the method of trans uh, method of decision, so whether it can be economical, based on speed, based on ease of use. So you can also set those two options as well. So if we exit out of the navigation now and just have a brief skim over the other options that we've got. Of course, we've got music. Uh, to access the music, you'll, go in, you'll need to go ahead and put in an SD card. Uh, so you can go ahead and do that because the map will take up most of the storage that is already built into the device. So I've got a memory card in here, and as you can see, let's go ahead and click that. If I go to music, of course, all the music will come down here. I'm not going to play any of it because of the copyright issues, but all the music will be listed here on your SD card. Uh, you've also got your video. I don't think I've got any videos on it now. No, no videos on there. Uh, you've also got your photos, which will be the same. Again, just go through there, go to SD card, and all your photos will appear all down here. You've also got your ebook. I uh, don't know how this will work, but you can actually get ebooks on here. I don't know why you would actually go ahead and have ebooks on the device, but that is the options there if you want to use it. You've also got Flash, which I'm not quite sure what, what that does either. You've got the games. As you can see, you've got a variety of very simple games here. You've got Snake, you've got Boxman, all sorts of games that you want to play here. Um, so you've got that option there as well. You've got your favourites. Again, this is probably where your, your routes are saved. So all your routes will be saved in your favourites. And you've got a very useful calculator here. So you've got, if you want to just make any just quick any calculations, you could just do that. And there you go. And that will be a very useful uh, application to have. So if we go ahead and navigate back. 
So we'll go ahead and go back. We've also got a unit converter. Again, a very useful application to have, especially if you're in a different country and you want to make simple conversions. For example, if you're converting miles per hour to kilometers per hour, that is a good option. That is a good option to have. So that's there as well. You've got your FM transmitter. So if you're listening to music on the device, you can transmit to the radio station in your car. Uh, similarly, there are a few um, FM transmitters out there, but this device that actually has it built in. So that's quite a useful feature to have as well. If you haven't got a uh, CD player, or if you haven't got a auxiliary import, you can use the radio station to transmit your music across. Of course, you've got your language settings. Of course, I'm going to leave it in English, but you've got a whole list of different languages that you can select from. You've also got another page. You slide up there. You got your overall volume control right there. You got your backlight. I've got it on the highest setting at the moment, but you can dim it depending on the lighting conditions. You got your restore. You got your calibration, which allows just to calibrate the touch screen just to make sure it's spot on. You got your navigation path. You've also got your GPS information, which has come up here as you can see. Just tracks all the GPS signals from these satellites. So if you go back, you got the date and time. Uh, set the date and time according, or you can set it by your time zone. You've also got the system information, just tells you what, what version of Windows C is running. You've also got a USB mode, so if you want to go ahead and plug into your computer, you just, click, you just uh, select USB storage mode on the device. And of course, I'm going to go ahead and click over to Windows C. And now once I do go to Windows C, I will have to reboot the device to get back into the menu. So if I go ahead and go over to Windows C, as you can see, as you can see, Windows CE boots up nicely. Uh, nothing really works on this. I mean, you can't get the internet because it hasn't got Wi-Fi built in, but you've got all sorts of options here. I suppose you've got all sorts of uh, like PowerPoint viewer and wherever if you want to use any of those, they're there. As you can see, even for navigating around the documents, it's quite quite a bit uh, fiddly around here since it's such a, a small display. And all, each of the icons are very small to tap on, so I wouldn't really recommend using Windows C on, C on this device, even though it uses it to run the software for the navigation, but it's there if you want to use it. So I'm going to go ahead and bring the device, switch the device back on, and I'll be back with you in a minute. So as I mentioned before, you have to actually, to reboot the device, you have to switch off the, uh, the whole device to come out of Windows C and then reboot it again to come back onto the main menu. So now guys, that really covers the main features of this device. I mean, we covered over everything that was there. As I mentioned before, it's more than just a sat nav unit. It's a completely multimedia device. It's like one complete device in its own right, almost like an MP4 player, but you got the option of a sat nav. Uh, so now guys, Simple Boost HD here. Thank you for watching. Take care, and of course, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye for now. What?